So your customer comes to you and says, we need to hide this part of SharePoint. It might be the new app bar, for example. And you think, how can I do that? Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to do that using application customizations using the SharePoint extension framework. So we're going to look at a framework extension I've written, which you can deploy to either a site or the whole tenancy, which will allow you to hide an element on the page based on its ID. So how can we do that? Well, let's dive straight in. So as you can see in SharePoint, there's many elements to the page, headers, footers, etc. A new one that's just appeared is this app bar. Now I'm sure it's going to be functionally great in time, but it doesn't actually give users everything they want, or at least some of my users, and they want to hide it. So what I've done is I've created an application extension, a customization that's going to allow me to hide an element on the page. Now, if I dig deep and inspect this element in the browser, if I look closely, I can see it's called SP App Bar. So what I need to do is I need to hide that on a global scale across all my sites. So what I've done is I've developed a way to do that using a tenant-wide extension. So if I go to the SharePoint Admin Center and I go to Apps, and I go to the App Catalog and distribute apps for SharePoint, I'm going to bring up my package file I've created and we'll see how to do this. I'm going to drag it in and note I've got the option to make it available to all sites in the organization and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to deploy that. Now while that's deployed I can go to the files tab of the app catalog and I can manage installed apps and you'll notice under tenant wide extensions there's one item and this is my app bar hide I've called it and notice I've got this little property element ID and I've defaulted it to SP app bar but this could be anything on the page so what does this mean well now when I go to our page and refresh it the app bar has disappeared okay so if I looked closer in this and I looked at another element I'm going to inspect this one here and I'm going to highlight it and I can see this one here is called the Office 365 nav header well if I copied that and I went to my tenant wide extension and I edited this list and I changed it from app bar to that header one that I copied there and I stopped editing that list in theory now when I go to this site and refresh it there the header has disappeared so we've got complete control over showing and hiding elements within SharePoint. Okay, so I'm going to edit this and change that back to SP app bar because I know that works. And I'm going to stop editing the list. And now when I go back to the site and refresh it, the app bar will disappear. If I didn't want it to activate, I just simply set that element ID to blank and it won't do anything. So let me show you the code to do this. As shown in the last episode, I scaffolded an extension. I'm going to open this up now. And all I did was a simple bit of code, and it does this. First of all, you need to look at the assets folder, and you'll see that there's two XML files, and it's got this kind of quote and quote. Well, these are the properties that are going to be deployed with my extension. I called it element ID, and I defaulted it to SP app bar. I did the same with the elements one as well. So when this is deployed to our tenancy, it will default with those values. Then I'm gonna look at the actual code itself. And it's very, very simple. It's just got an on init function. And in the on init function, I basically say if this .properties.elementID, which is what we're passing in, if you remember from our 
client side uh, instance and elements XML. And I say, if it hasn't got a value, then simply use the document object model to get the element where the ID is equal to the ID that we've set. And then I just set the style of it to display equals none. And it will do this on every site as an extension. If I go app for SharePoint, I go to files and I go manage installed apps. It's got tenant wide extensions and there it is. If I simply go into here and edit this item and set that to blank and stop editing the list, then we know in my code that it's going to say, well, hang on, that's equal to blank. So I'm not going to do anything. So it's really safe to use. Okay. And in that case, if I then run my code, notice the bar's not there. If I refresh it, it will now reappear because it's set to blank. So I hope you're going to find that useful. Uh, the code to it is available below. So uh, install it yourself. And I hope this solves a common problem that people find using an application customization. So the link to the source code for this and the package are down below. Next time, we'll look at doing more customizations using the top and bottom placeholders. I'll see you next time.